like clockwork, when the draft comes around, smoke season is in full effect. Rumor, they call it silly season for a reason. They call it lying season. I call it smoke season, tinfoil hat season, any name you want for it because you just get all these reports flying around, whether truth or not. Uh, you you get a bunch of different things. And obviously, uh, what's going on right now in the 49ers universe has been the Brandon Ayuk story, obviously. Uh, and Mike Silver put out a big-time uh, report today uh, giving some insight into that situation. I already did a video on that. You can check the link in the description if you want to watch that video uh, to get in-depth in regards to what that's about. But in that article as well is a little nugget about Debo Samuel. And I find this nugget to be interesting because I would say in these conversations amongst fans in regards to a potential Brandon Ayuk trade, a lot of times you'll hear fans chime in and say, oh, don't trade BA, trade Debo. Get Debo out of here. I don't, that just seems to be kind of a gut reaction for some people. I, I Even in the video I posted, you see some people saying, We'll trade Debo instead, instead of Brandon Ayuk. Um, I, you know, for whatever reason, uh, maybe it's because you guys perceive Debo Samuel to be not worth the contract. I don't know, but I see it all the time. I've never seen this before, uh, and let's talk about it. Again, from Mike Silver in the SF Chronicle, he goes on to say, uh, in kind of a, you could, he's going to ask the question about like potentially trading other high paid veterans like Debo Samuel or George Kittle. And he says, would the 49ers preemptively trade Samuel or Kittle this week? Uh, don't expect it to happen. Samuel, who signed a three year, $71.5 million contract extension before the 2022 season, has been assured by his bosses that he will not be dealt during or after the draft, according to a source familiar with these conversations. Assured. What? I don't know if I've ever heard a report of someone having to be like, listen, man, we're not trading you. And I know it's been one of the hottest topics uh, of like hypothetical season of the off season is potentially trading Debo. And part of the logic is to get uh, cap compliant, I guess, for now and into the future. That That's kind of the thought process that I have seen from others who have posed that as an option. Uh, but according to sources inside the building, they're, they're like, Debo, listen. We aren't trading you. We're not going to trade you. We're not shopping you before the draft, during the draft, after the draft. You're here to stay. Don't worry. <laughs> we're not getting that with we're not getting that with Brandon Ayuk, but Demo Samuel, you're good, pal. You're good. <laughs> All good. Which hey, I don't mind. I, I don't want Demo Samuel to go anywhere. And then he also goes on to say Kittle, who signed a five-year, $75 million deal before the 2022 season had his contract restructured by the 49ers last month, reportedly creating nearly $10 million in cap space. The point being is George Kittle, Debo Samuel are expected to go anywhere. And if you had asked me, I don't want them to go anywhere either because I believe the 49ers are best when they're at full strength, which includes having Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and Brandon Ayuk, uh, CMC, Brock Purdy, all the guys. Uh, so, uh, again, I do find it interesting that uh, he was assured uh, that he wasn't going to be shopped, dealt, or traded. So, I'm curious to know how you guys feel about that. Because, like we talked about, um, the same thing isn't being presented to... Uh, Brandon Ayuk at the current moment, at least from this article. And uh, in regards to that, um, why do you feel about that? Because like I said, I think a lot of you who watch and view and comment 
uh, have thought the same thing. It's like, we'll sign B.A. and trade Debo. Well, how would you feel if the roles were reversed where Debo stays and they trade B.A.? Now, we're hoping for the optimal outcome, which is no one gets traded. We keep the family together and the family is happy and we pay the family and we go chase more rings as a family. Right. I think that's kind of where most fans are looking at this situation um, moving forward. Uh, but as we know, the cap is something that uh, is there for a reason to, you know, keep teams from building super teams and uh, all these different types of things. And you have to be able to maneuver. And we know uh, Brock Purdy is going to get a big time payday and all things that we've seen would point to that uh going to happen so i think as it stands right now i think it's just an interesting situation uh regarding that in one article one wide receiver is assured that he's not getting traded uh but another is basically like yeah we're talking we're asking uh we have a price uh and we're we're open for business uh, at least that's the way it comes across. So again, we're so close guys. We're so close two days away from these reports, whether true, untrue, or whatever, uh, being behind us and us knowing what is going to happen. I think that's the thing that we're most looking forward to. I, I think that's kind of the sentiments I've seen, uh, from a lot of commenters is basically uh, the thought process of like, wake me up on the drafts here so we just know. Um, I think, you know, we understand this, like I talked about at the beginning of the of this clip, was that it's silly season. It's tinfoil hat season. Like there's, I have a, a tinfoil hat circa 2021 tinfoil hat. It's so old, it's got a hole in it uh for this time period this period that we are in leading into the draft because there's so many things go that's why we call it smoke season uh and we just we just we look at it we're like man oh hey gotta wait and see <laughs> So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Debo Samuel um, being assured that he will not be traded and Brandon Ayuk being the absolute opposite of that. Uh, is he's not assured that he's not going to be traded. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it ultimately plays out at because that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Other than that, we give our opinion on it. And uh, until something happens, we just have we just have to sit back and watch and have anxiety. Uh, but you guys let me know, do you have anxiety or do you not care? Drop it in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.